Hey Libra, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. With that being said, this reading should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This can be your situation or your partners. Libras that are actually watching this reading, because there tends to be a lot of cross-watchers coming in, the situation sometimes can be reversed for you. So just keep that in mind when you're when when you are watching the reading. Um, also too, if you like, you could always like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also too, please feel free to comment. I love reading what you have to write and really interacting with you on that one-on-one -on -one basis. With that being said, Libra, let's go ahead and hop into your loves. Who's Libra dealing with romantically? Who is Libra dealing with romantically? Who's Libra? Okay. Two of cups. Beautiful. Uh, somebody may have a Cancer, Venus, Gemini, or Pisces. Um, how does Libra feel about this person romantically? Okay. Ten of Swords. That's kind of interesting. We'll figure out. That's definitely Gemini energy. What's the current situation or issue between these two romantically? Current situation or issue between... Okay. The Chariot, Cancer... Obviously, some type of forward movement. You guys can be at a distance from one another, possibly. Um, what is the current external influence or block for these two? External influence or block for these two romantically. Okay, the Ace of Swords. Obviously, it has to do with talking, a level of clarity. And what's the best potential outcome here for these two romantically? Woo, one more time. I don't like that outcome. Let's try one more time. Best outcome here for Libra and their person of interest romantically. The outcome for these two weeks for Libra. Okay. Judgment. Also going to be dealing with a Aries, a Scorpio, or a Capricorn. So I do want to say that. So first thing I want to say is this. I feel like there's one person who is very much in need of love. Like, I feel like somebody is almost begging for attention or begging for a level of love, right? There's somebody that has, there's a level of fear here pertaining to emotions. And it can be that somebody doesn't want to face, you know, whatever events are coming. And I do feel like somebody definitely needs a level of reassurance here. So with that being said, you know, it's like, I feel like for some reason things are being kept hidden or things are not necessarily being expressed, which makes things challenging. It's also too, it's like this person wants to fight, you know, but almost like in a secret way, right? They're not necessarily willing to reach out and say, hey, this is what's going on, but they're kind of just sitting there pouting or like crying over spilled milk. So I do want to say that. And I do think it has to do with a love offer with the potential uh, intimacy with you, uh, Libra. So as far as your partner's concerned, two of cups, I mean, this is beautiful, right? You know, there is a level of duality here with your partner, but also a lot of love. Um, because this represents Cancer Venus, uh, Cancer Venuses tend to be very nurturing, very caring, very uh, supportive. There's somebody that's like, come over, let, let's eat. Have you eaten? Are you good? Did you get home? Like this person is very attentive. This person checks in on you. This person is somebody who tends to be a mediator or uh, very much involved in peace, a level of harmony and desire along with like, they're very considerate, right? Uh, they tend to be diplomatic, warm, and also peaceful. This person bends over backwards to keep, you know, keep the relationship running. And they do provide a level of emotional security, which I personally like. I also think that they don't, they have a very deep dis dislike for anything that's not working or, or discord, right? It's like they are willing to work hard in order to keep the peace. And this person is very attached to their home and their family. And I feel like once they are devoted, they are a very stable partner who can maintain that level of harmony and balance. Give me more information about Libra's person of interest here. Okay, Six of Swords. Um, they can be at a distance from you, Libra. Also, too, I feel like the Six of Swords, that's Mercury and Aquarius. You and this person, I feel like, may, like, 
how they come across or how their level of communication tends to be a bit, a bit like brash, right? It's like they're trying to translate something to you or transmit something to you, um, you know, in order for things to have a level of forward movement here. But sometimes it just comes off as very harsh. But also, too, this person is very real. It's almost like what you see is what you get with this person. Like they don't try to polish themselves up in order to appease anybody. That's something that's also coming in. Where is the Six of Swords moving towards? The Princess of Wands, a new start. Okay. That can be uh, Leo, Sag, or Aries. Here's what's interesting. I do think that your person may have a level of immaturity, okay? I am going to say that. But I feel like it's because they're still growing or there's something that's still unformed uh, between you and them. And it's something that's kind of coming together, right? This person may also be somebody that's very passive, okay, and receptive. So, like, they want you to come to them. They don't always want to have to go to you. What's starting here for wands, that's Venus and uh, Aries. But also too, it's like they want to, they want you to approach them on asking them out. They want you to approach them on, hey, you know, what can we do here? How do, how do we make this work? Four of wands is a love about stability. It's about community. It's about, you know, I always think of these two, 11, 11, right? One, 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 one. Um, it's also about things just kind of being in place when and where they're supposed to be. I I really do like the Four of Wands. That's probably one of my favorite cards um, in the whole deck because it's about an agreement. It's also about a level of harmony and also a level of intimacy. And something, too, that this person may do is they may try to um, push things forward by using money to uh, manipulate the situation or using money or things to try to progress things. Like they may be somebody who buys you things, right? That's how they show their love. Or they may be somebody who does certain things in order, you know, gives you something in order for you to know how they feel about you. One card here for the person that they're dealing with romantically. Okay, two of wands. That's uh, Mars and Aries. You know, I just feel like this person is very passionate. This person is very fiery. There's a duality to them. It's like they're Susie Homemaker, but then at the same time, or, you know, like Bobby Barbecue, but then all of a sudden, you know, take it however you want it, whether you're dealing with whoever you're dealing with, whatever sex. Um, but then all of a sudden, it's like they're very feisty, right? And they're very knowledgeable about certain things, and they have a problem taking taking action but right now they're playing kind of like coy they're playing like hey are you gonna come get me or no i do think for whatever reason though there's something that's being done behind the scenes that you necessarily don't know about libra and it may just be like there is something you know maybe you're starting to open up with this person but things just haven't got to that point where you fully have an understanding of exactly what it is with this situation now, how you feel about them is the Ten of Wands, or Ten of Swords, I'm sorry. So that's definitely Gemini, but it, it can be Mercury in Gemini, or it can be Gemini Sun. I feel like with this Ten of Swords, you know, I think that there is a lot of turmoil between the two of you. I think that there has been a lot of pain here. And it has been, you know, either whether it's you that done it or they that, that has done this to you. There's a lot of pain between the two of you. What's caused the Ten of Swords? The King of Pentacles? Taurus or Leo? Um, why? How? Because of the world? This person may have left you or they may have broke up with you possibly. You could have also received some type of information on what they were doing. And this is also Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Aquarius. There's something here. There's something that's coming to an end. There's some type of communication that you're receiving or some type of communication that you've received, right? It's all about a level of totality, like something just, it is what it is. And now it's coming to an end. 
but it's also, you know, there is a level of limitation here and something that is very, very firm. So let me ask, um, what, what is the communication? And it's interesting Libra. And I'm going to say this because you guys are, you know, uh, justice, right? And in the justice card, she looks just like her, right? See how she has a sword in one hand and the heart in the other. It's like weighing out both sides and deciding whether or not, you know, you want to kick this dude off, you know, your world, or if you're going to allow him to stay. It's almost like, I know this sounds weird, but it's almost like a level of judgment, but from a different perspective. And I don't know why I think that, but I do. What's what's ending here with the world? What's coming to a conclusion with the world? The Prince of Cups, Pisces or Gemini. How does Libra feel about this? Ooh. Seven of Swords. Okay. There also may be some type of addiction here, some type of drinking, drugs, alcohol. Um, with the Prince of Cups here, I, I feel like because the Prince of Cups is Pisces, there are things that were hidden from you. And that's tied with the Seven of Swords. Things that, things that you know, something that was being done behind your back. Maybe your partner, uh, Libra, was talking to a Gemini or a Pisces. Um, and they were kind of doing it behind your back. And this has led you in a place where now you're like, kind of like, wow, like what the hell, how did this even happen? Because the seven of swords is moon in Aquarius. So it's almost like an energy that's very disconnected, but it's also like, again, it's a very fixed type of energy. I think that this is something that you were not, you weren't expecting. They may have cut you off very cold right? Because they had a plan the whole time, right? The Seven of Swords is about a hidden plan. It's also about, you know, this person being very detached and bringing about a level of change in a detached way, in a very scientific way. It's almost like if you and this person ended up splitting up, they're just like, yo, I'm not doing it. Like, okay, that's fine. And maybe Libra, you were reaching out like, wait a minute, let's try to figure this out. And that person was like, no, I'm good. You know what I mean? Like there's something that's here that was very crude and very hurtful. Um, what does Libra like about this person? Okay, Eight of Wands. Um, you know, I think that you liked how fast, and maybe with you and this person, you guys could be at a distance, but maybe you liked how fast or or the level of communication. There was a lot of fire between you right? It was like there was always movement with you and this person. And this is Mercury in uh, Sagittarius. So, you know, you could always do whatever you want in Libra. Like they didn't put any restraints on you. They're like, hey, if you want to do that, do what you do. Hey, you want to go hang out with your friends? Go ahead, go right ahead. You know, like this person wasn't pressed. They, they didn't press you on what you had to do or what you had it or didn't have to do. What's being communicated the Ace of Swords. I also think that this person really stimulated you mentally. I think that there was a bond there with you and them that was very much like a friendship bond. And it's something that you and them did definitely explore together. And it was a certain connection and it can be very much a spiritual connection. Um, what did Libra, what does Libra not like about their person of interest? The Chariot. Now in this deck, this deck is all about a level of conquest, okay? So it's like one person is, is pretending so that the other person comes forward. And I feel like that makes sense because maybe this person was just playing the part of, okay, I'm going to sit here. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to play the role. I'm going to play the game. And then all of a sudden it's like they flip the script really quick and now they're moving out of your direction. Where is, where is the chariot going towards? The eight of pentacles. That's Virgo. It can be going towards a level of indifference. Like maybe you and this person just did things very differently and they needed something different or you needed something different from them. Because it's an eight, you know what I mean? Like you were trying to be very patient with them, right? It's like you were trying to, you know, be patient. However, I do feel like 
there was a change. Something changed where they were no longer patient with you. What you were offering was no longer okay. Am I right? The tower. Yeah. Also, too, I do feel like there's a level of betrayal here. And it can have to do with the fact that you've invested a lot of time in this person and you genuinely love them. There's the lovers with the seven of pentacles, right? And that's Taurus and Gemini. And it can be the fact that whatever you've invested into them, it's just for them, they're still fighting it. For them, it's just not enough. And there is a level of clarity that's needed on your end. Like maybe things ended in a way where they just didn't make sense. It didn't make logical sense to you why things happen the way that they do or why things happen the way that they did. Your current situation, you have the chariot. So um, what is, uh, how does Libra's partner or person of interest, how do they view, what is their perception of the situation? What is their perception of the chariot, the ten of wands? Okay. And what is Libra's perception of the chariot as a situation? The devil. Okay. So this is interesting. So for your person, I feel like, you know, this was something that was weighing heavy on them. This was something that had to transform. And this may be something that they felt like they had to move on from. Because the Ten of Wands, you know, that's a card where somebody's really trying to pull something along. But it's a level of oppression and fatigue and burden. I just feel like this person was burnt out. And that they really needed to focus on being free at many different levels and being open you know what i mean and i think for whatever reason being in a relationship just wasn't it just was kind of bogging them down let's take a look at that okay you see how he's straining it's like he's trying to pull it along and it's just not moving it's just not going anywhere so maybe movement or distance was definitely an issue but how you feel about it is now it's the devil so, you know, you may have a level of fixation here with this person. Why does uh, Libra feel the devil? Why, why, why is that? Why? What's the energy of the devil? The four of cups. Now you're fixated and you're very focused. And now it's almost like you're waiting for them to come back. This is a uh, cancer moon, moon and cancer. It's like you're sitting there waiting for some type of offer to come in. Or, you know, you're sitting there because now you feel a level of, of being rejected, right? And difference. And now you're scared that maybe you've lost this person for a very long time. However, it's like, you know, you want to affect a level of change here um, in a very careful, but yet a very like structured manner, especially with that moon in, moon in Cancer. Now, let me keep going because I do want to get some more info, uh, questions in here. Um, what, where is the chariot going towards for these two? One more time. Where is the chariot moving for these two romantically for the situation? Where is the chariot going? Okay, to the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and that can be a completion. That can be home. That can be a lot of things with the Four of Wands. So that's what's interesting. The chariot is moving on in a direction. So, so let, me, let me say this to you. Sometimes we have to let things go in order for them to come back and come back whole, right? And how you feel about this situation is the devil with the four cups. It's like your emotions are involved. involved. They're very... They're very high emotions, right? There's a level of intimacy here. And I just really feel strongly, and this can be Capricorn as well, or Cap Capricorn or Scorpio. But I do feel like with the devil here, it's like now you're even more fixated on this person. That's what I'm getting where this person just wants to move on from the situation. And maybe it's the fact that they just want to move on from whatever is not working, but but they just they just want to let it go. You know what I mean? Like they've had it. They're like, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm just going to let it go. 
because they're not getting, it's like the same thing keeps happening and happening and happening. There's a cycle here that keeps going and it's not enough work that's being put in. So your partner feels like they have to let it go. And now all of a sudden you're like, but wait, come back. Like I'm not finished with you. Now, what's interesting is the chariot is now moving towards the 10 of pentacles and, and the 10 of, 10 of wands. And that's, um, having a conversation about a level of stability. That's Mercury in Virgo and Venus in Aries, right? Um, how does um, Libra's partner feel about this? The Empress, they're like, go ahead, I'll allow it. And how does Libra feel about this? The Five of Wands. I'm going to say this. I feel like for you, Libra, you're waiting for this person to come back to you, but I'm going to be honest and please don't be mad at me, but I feel like this person is leaving. I feel like this person is going to be taking an offer maybe from somebody else. And that's why the chariot is here. It's because they're having forward movement away from you. Because what does this mean for these two romantically? What does this mean for these two romantically? The page of swords. It's like you, you and this person are now possible enemies. So this person is letting go while well, now you're trying to hold on. And I feel like it may have been something here because you do have the Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. It's like, you know, and that's a moon in Libra. It's like trying to find a balance here, but also falling through with the promise that maybe, you know, you had originally of, you know, doing something or having some type of forward movement here. That's coming in strongly. Sorry, I had to drink some water. You know, however, it's just there was a decision that needed to be made. And I feel like whatever that decision was, whatever issue came up to the forefront, however it was, it wasn't handled in the way that your partner wanted it to, which is why they're walking away, which is why they're just like, no, I can't because there's something that you're hiding there's something that you're lying or there's something that you're not telling me, but nothing is changing here. I'm always at this standstill with you. Okay. So then we have the Ace of Swords for what's blocking. And this is a level of honesty. And this is honestly a level of clarity. What is the clarity on? The Five of Cups. I do think that there's a level of guilt here. I think that somebody is very upset. I think that somebody is regretful. They want this person to come back. You know, there's challenges and I feel like there is a level of loss. Somebody is realizing that they've lost this person. Princess of Swords. Somebody also may be stalking somebody. Somebody may be stalking somebody with the Princess of Swords, right? It's, it's very much that energy where there's messages coming in, but there's a level of curiosity. It's like maybe your partner's curious about how you feel, but at the same point, it's like they've blocked you. This can also be it. And maybe that's why you're upset because they blocked you or they no longer want anything from you. Um, let me ask, how does Libra feel about this? How does Libra feel about the block or the external influence? Queen of Swords, there you are, Libra. With the Two of Pentacles. I feel like right now, honestly, and that's Jupiter and Capricorn, I feel like you're going back and forth right now with what to do. It's like you're trying to be disciplined and not reach out to them. However, it's like your, your emotions are really thrown in here and they're really being torn. It's like you go, you juggle. It's like I want them, but then I don't want to say anything. Because I'm the queen of swords. Like, emotionally, I need to be detached. The problem is, emotionally, you're not detached because you do have that five of cups. And that five of cups did come because it's like you do feel a level of loss. Because maybe whatever was said, instead of saying, hey, taking what they said in, in a constructive manner, maybe something happened where now it's like, oh, you didn't care? Okay, cool, then I'm done, right? Oh, you're not going to respond? Oh, things aren't going to change? Okay, fine, I'm out. Um, how does Libra's person of interest feel about this? Bless you. The Five of Wands. They're very defensive. That's Saturn, um, that Saturn in Leo. It's like 
they're willing to fight how they're planning they're fighting for what's right for them they're taking a level of order and discipline and really going out of their way to have that structure in that manner right it, it it's it's an energy that's about you know uh a prepar like preparation right it's like they're prepared to do this with you because for them it's like they need to focus and consolidate in a manner that makes that allows them to shine and to be free and for whatever reason with this maybe they didn't have that there still is that level of conflict there is that still challenge that 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 is challenging for them i also want to say too with the devil here somebody may have addiction issues um that is something that may be coming in heavy and maybe somebody's not been completely honest with it, which is why you have the devil with the two of swords. It's like, that's not trying to be talked about. That can also be it. Um, can you give me more information on the block or the current um, external influence? With the three of swords, like, I feel like something's ended. I'm not sure what, and that's Saturn and Libra. That's like, it's ended so that there can be a harmonious balance. Like it's ended so that it can make things balanced again. Because up until this point with all this five energy, there's just too much, there's too many challenges between you and your partner. It's also like, there's too many what ifs. Seven of cups, eight of cups. You see, it's like, yeah, are they a good person? Yeah, is there a potential of this going somewhere? Absolutely. However, you know, it's not moving right? Yes. Is this person a great person at a core level? Yes. But what does that mean with us moving forward? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why, but your partner feels very strongly on the fact that, you know, at this moment, they're walking away from the situation. Um, and look, I just pulled the top of it. It's the eight of cups with the seven of wands, you know, and I feel like it's almost, you know, they're fighting for themselves. They're doing what's right by them. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I also feel strongly too, though, Libra, that it's your turn to, turn to really put in the work. And I'm saying that because you have Libra here at the bottom and um, Six of Pentacles at the top. It's really your turn to really put in the work and be the one that gives in this situation. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I'm getting. Six of Pentacles with the Empress. It's like giving to a situation that you can grow in. And maybe, and, and let's be honest, Libra, your partner may just not be right for you, right? And just because we want them to be right doesn't mean that they are right. So that's something to kind of keep into consideration here. And that remember, it's Mercury retrograde. So things are all over the place right now. Okay, and that's why I say like that ending um, of the month is key because that's when Mercury goes direct. Now, as your outcome, there's justice. So obviously there is something that's coming back around. There's something that's being said here that's making everybody stand up and say, oh shit, what? You know, there's something, there's something that's coming back around. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.